What would happen if someone were placed inside an inflatable ball and thrown out of an airplane? To get to the bottom of it, they first did a test drop with Buster without the inflatable ball. The result? He didn't make it. This time, Buster is placed inside the inflatable ball. Once the helicopter reaches 1,000 feet, the ball is released. Because the ball has a much larger surface area, it falls slower than Buster did on his own. It even bounces a few times upon hitting the ground. So, does that mean he survived this time? Unfortunately, no. All the impact sensors still turned red. Even with the inflatable ball acting like a giant airbag, falling from over 1,000 feet is still unsurvivable. At this point, Adam comes up with a new idea. Before placing Buster in the inflatable ball, he wraps him in a thick layer of inflatable foam padding. Then, the inside of the ball is also packed with the same foam. With multiple layers of protection, could Buster finally make it through in one piece? Let's find out. The ball is once again lifted to 1,000 feet, and Buster is dropped. After hitting the ground, foam is scattered everywhere, but the result is once again disappointing. All the impact sensors are red. Even with all those layers of cushioning, Buster didn't survive. So the verdict is clear. Putting someone in an inflatable ball and throwing them out of a plane is not survivable. 